I asked them to become active in caring for the persecuted Christians around the world under Islam. If I were talking to Buddhists, atheists, or Jews, I would ask them to do the same thing, to help all those who are persecuted under Islam, which includes the Christians. We need to face the fact that whereas Kafirs, non-Muslims, may create a lot of divisions amongst themselves based on religion, amongst other things, that under Islam we're all Kafirs, and it will cause us all to submit. Therefore, we must unite together instead of attacking or ignoring each other. The audience may change, but the doctrine of the Kafir never does. Thank you. Are you listening? Breakthrough Media. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well, my topic for today is a simple one: why political Islam is winning in the United States and why we are losing. Those two things go together. And so one of the things I want to talk to you today about is why we're losing and how that can be corrected. My inbox is an interesting place, but about, oh, about election time, I got all kinds of panic because all of a sudden there were candidates who were Muslim who were running for office and they won. More panic, more alarm. Now the thing here is, is that the triumph of the Muslims who ran for office was planned 20 years ago. Whereas most people's response to this event was simply, what? They're, they're running for office? They told you they were going to run for office 20, 30 years ago. So what we see here is that Islam is capable of fantastic strategic planning. As a matter of fact, I'll say this. No one plans as well as the Muslim Brotherhood on strategic vision. Anybody. They plan 10, 20 years out. Not, oh, they prepare more than that. They also plan generational out. The erosion, the erosion of American democracy. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Now, let me assure you something, that the situation is worse than you think it is because those people who are supposed to help us push back on this issue are asleep at the wheel. Breakthrough Media. You know, they say that ministers and, pol ministers and rabbis and Catholic priests, they shouldn't get involved in politics. I think that this is a time we should speak up. I'm here today because West Virginia is $784 million in debt, complete, absolute debt. Right here, they're building brand new houses. Now they've taken the white folks and black folks and they moved them down the road here to substandard housing conditions so that 321 Syrian Muslims can move down in this neighborhood in two months when these are completed. This is at a cost of $87 million. You see that funeral home over there? It is to be torn down in two months and a mosque is going to be built there. In six months, this place is going to be a Sharia zone, meaning no non-Christians can walk down here except Muslims. Now, why would they take white Americans and black Americans and throw them down over there in substandard housing and give this to the Islamic people who come here last month, you all remember on WOWK News? They come here three months ago, 321, and you all cheered and came down here and protested. They live here. They're living here free on your taxpayers' money while regular Americans are suffering down the street here. These Islamic people here, they get $400 for each child while the regular Americans get nothing. They get cars, they get phones, they get free health care. And regular Americans, black and white, they're suffering. When is America going to speak up for our people? Screw these Muslims and get them out. This is where your money is, West Virginia. $87 million of your tax money is right here while your own people are suffering. You want to waste taxes on cigarettes at a dollar a pack. Meanwhile, everybody going to Kentucky and making Kentucky very wealthy people. You want to waste taxes on gasoline. Everybody going across the border to get it. You politicians, you need to speak up. You need to say, no, we're not having this. We have Americans suffering in this country right now. Here's your proof. $87 million West Virginia taxpaying dollars is going to Islamic refugees right here. Speak up, America.
Have you ever felt? Oh my god, this just 